Hi all, welcome to the video sessions of uh, Power System Analysis based on the KTU syllabus. And today we are going to discuss the selection of circuit breaker uh, from the second module of the subject. So as we know, the selection of circuit breaker is a very very uh, important thing in power system. That is the, we know, the circuit breakers are protective devices which are used in power system to automatically open the faulty part of the system in the event of a fault. That is in uh, normal working condition that can be used as a switch. That is the uh, circuit breakers. So hence the two functions of circuit breakers are the mainly two functions are the that are to act as a switch for normal load conditions and uh, to automatically isolate or open the faulty part in the event of a fault. So normally the circuit breakers are uh, used in uh, power systems at places where the power level is very high. So uh, they are used in high voltage transmission lines, substations, generating stations and for uh, heavy loads in industries. And uh, uh, since the circuit breakers are employed in places where the power level is high, uh, whenever its contacts open, it has to interrupt a heavy current both during load conditions and faulty conditions. Since the power system is predominantly an inductive in nature, the interruption of the current when the circuit breaker opens its contact is associated with large voltages induced across the contacts resulting in sparking so there may be a chance of sparking at the contacts hence in circuit breakers we can say that the amount of current it has to interrupt is an important criteria based on that parameter the sparking occurs and the circuit breaker for a particular application that is for a particular load is selected based on the following ratings there are uh, five points other that is uh, uh, first thing is based on the normal working power level okay the working power level is specified as rated interrupting current or rated uh, interrupting kva okay and the second point is the fault level okay fault level occurs it also uh, specified in uh, rated short circuit interrupting current or rated short circuit interrupting mva and the third point is momentary uh, current rating of the device and uh, uh, normal working voltage and uh, next one is speed of circuit breaker so these are the main five points uh, based on these five points the uh, we are selecting the circuit breakers for a particular application okay so when we are talking about the speed of the circuit breakers uh, the speed of circuit breaker is the time between the occurrence of fault to the extinction of the arc. Here all this discuss there is a possibility of uh, arc in the circuit when the contacts are open. So uh, actually the speed of circuit breaker means time between the occurrence of the fault to the extinction of the arc. Okay, the extinction of the arc should be uh, very quick. And it is normally specified in cycles of power frequency. That is, we know, uh, we know that normally we are using uh, uh, 50 hertz of frequency okay so we know that the time period okay time period that is the time required for a one cycle that is 1550 uh, it will be equal to 20 milliseconds that is 0 0.02 seconds okay 0 0.02 seconds only that is for a single cycle okay so the standard speed of circuit breakers are 853 or 1.5 cycles of the power frequency Okay, that is the speed of circuit breaker and the momentary current rating is the maximum current that flow through a circuit breaker for a short duration okay in the earlier portions we have discussed the uh, momentary current rating so uh, it is the current that may flow during the subtransient period of fault condition that we know uh, if a fault occurs there are uh, three periods will be the subtransient period transient period and steady state period so uh, during subtransient period the reactance will be very very small so the current will be large during this subtransient period okay so the momentary current rating or current is based on the subtransient period current okay and uh, in fault analysis the subtransient fault current calculated using subtransient circuit model 
is the symmetrical substantial current the, that is the calculated fault current will be the symmetrical in nature symmetrical substantial current so we have to use okay we have to use an uh, multiply factor of 1.6 to get the maximum momentary current during fault that is the factor 1.6 accounts to the DC offset current during substantial period okay so we have to consider that DC offset current also so uh, for that we are multiplying the symmetrical compound with 1.6 to get the maximum momentary current during fault okay so the circuit breaker is chosen so that its mom uh, its momentary current rating is less than the calculated value okay and uh, uh, usually the circuit breakers will open its contacts in the transition period okay that is the next period after subtension period the transition period comes okay and so the short circuit interrupting current rating depends on the transient period current okay so as in the previous case in fault analysis the transient fault current calculated using transient circuit model is the symmetrical transient fault current okay so we have to multiply that symmetrical transient fault current with a factor of 1 to 1.5 to get the maximum interrupting current okay so this factor uh, is accounts for the dc offset current during transient period and the circuit breaker is chosen so that its short circuit interrupting current rating is less than the calculated value okay so the multiplying factor to find interrupting current depends on the speed of the circuit breaker okay depends on the speed we will choose whether we have to choose 1 or 1.1 1.5 like that okay so we are having a table here so based on this uh, table we are choosing the multiplying factor okay so if the speed of circuit breaker is 8 cycles or more we have to choose the multiplying factors 1 and for 5 it is 1.1 for 3 it is 1.2 for 2 it is 1.4 and for 1.5 it is 1.5 okay so based on the speed of circuit breaker we are using uh, the multiplying factor like this okay so the short circuit interrupting MVA can be estimated from the knowledge of pre fault voltage and short circuit interrupting current okay so the short circuit interrupting MVA can be uh, written as that is our power equation okay root 3 VLIL like that root 3 into V P F L into modulus of I F L okay so modulus of V P F L is the magnitude of pre fault line voltage at the fault point in kv and uh, the mode ifl is the magnitude of line voltage of short circuit interrupting current at the fault in kilo ampere okay ka or the short circuit interrupting kv can also be found using the equation that is mode vpfl per unit into ifl per unit into mva base that is we know that the per unit value will be uh, what is the equation for per unit value that is actual value by base value okay so here uh, the actual value can be fine using the per unit into the base okay the base value okay so here the vpfl per unit pu is the magnitude of pre fault voltage at the fault point in per unit and the mode ifl pu is the magnitude of short circuit interrupting current at the fault in per unit okay so this is the short circuit interrupting mva during the fault okay so you can use either this equation or this equation for finding short circuit interrupting MVA. Okay, I hope all of you understand the selection of the circuit breaker clearly. So thank you.